Let's go ahead and get started tonight. I hope everybody is excited about uh, Romans chapter number 7. And we're going to be taking a little quiz on it here in a few minutes. There are 25 verses in Romans chapter number 7. And there are 25 questions on the test. But there's only one word missing from every one of those verses. So it should be easy to, to handle. All right, before we, before we actually do the quiz, uh, let's take out our Bibles or electronic devices, whatever you want to do. Now, you do know that I'm going to have you put them up again here in a few minutes, but we want to read those 25 verses together. We have time to do that tonight. That'll refresh our memories. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version. The test will come from the English Standard Version, but I did make sure that the words that are the fill in the blanks are the same words in both the King James or New King James and the English Standard. So yeah, I'm taking that excuse away from you. It's the same, same word in each one and in the, for the blanks. All right, let's go ahead and read uh, beginning in <clears throat> Romans chapter 7, verse number 1. Paul wrote and said, Or do you not know, brothers, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only as long as he lives. For a married woman is bound by law to her husband while he lives, but if her husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she's free from that law. And if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. Likewise, my brothers, you also have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. For while we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we're released from the law, having died to that which held us captive, so that we serve in the new way of the Spirit, and not the old way of the written code. What then shall we say? That the law is sin? By no means. Yet if it had been, not been for the law, I would not have known sin, for I would not have known what it is to covet. If the law had not said, you shall not covet. But sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, produced in me all kinds of covetousness, for apart from the law, sin lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin came alive and I died. The very commandment that promised life proved to be death to me. For sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, deceived me and through it killed me. So the law is holy and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. Did that which is good then bring death to me? By no means. It was sin producing death in me through what is good, in order that sin might be shown to be sin, and through the commandment might become sinful uh, beyond measure. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold under sin. For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me that is in my flesh, for I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inner being. But I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. All right, having read through it, uh, we'll go ahead and get some guys to come up here. Huddy, if you'll help. 
again, if you will uh, not start until everybody gets theirs, we'll do 20 minutes, and then following that, you'll split those up among you. Uh, got two more helpers coming over here if you want to give them a few copies. We'll have 20 minutes to go ahead and do the test, and then uh, following that, we'll grade the test, the, the quiz, and make sure that we got them all right. There should be pencils at least on every table. You should be ready to do that. I see some of you getting that last little bit of cramming by reading a little bit more in. So as soon as you get that last little bit of cramming done, go ahead and put your Bible up or put your phone away. Everybody have a copy. Anybody need a copy? Anybody need a pencil? Should be some on the tables. Thanks, sir. All right, if you've already started, you missed that one. I have not said start yet. <laughs> we have not said start yet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going on. Start. You got 20 minutes. All right. Time is up. I mean, he still needs another minute or two. All right, we're, we're awfully close now. Okay, got to ask it. Who got them all right? Now, I can start on the other end. Who got them all wrong? <laughs> all right, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let's Let's, let's, let's grade our tests. <clears throat> now you do know that they're all in order, one through 25. So not just on the test, that's the verses are in order. So copied and pasted straight out of the, out of the text. All right, number one. Or do you not know, brothers, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only as long as he... Well, that wasn't hard, was it? Everybody got that one? Chapter 7, verse number 1, as long as he lives. Number 2, for a married woman is bound by law to her husband while he lives, but if her husband dies, she is blank from the law of marriage. All right, everybody agree? She is released, verse number two. Released from the law of marriage. Number three. Accordingly, she will be called and blank if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she's free from that law. And if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. She will be called an, an adulteress. Verse number three. She'll be called an adulteress. Number four. Likewise, my brothers, you also have died to the law through the blank of Christ so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead in order that we may bear fruit for God. Body, everybody. That's what everybody says, body. Let's look and see. 
Body it is, verse number four. Body of Christ. Number five. For while we were living in the flesh, our sinful blank, aroused by the law, were at work and our members to bear fruit for death. Heard passions? All right, anybody got anything else? It is passions. Verse number five. Our sinful passions. All right, number six. But now we are released from the law, having died to that which held us captive, so that we serve in the new way of the blank and not in the old way of the written code. All right, I'm hearing, I'm hearing spirit. That's what it is, verse number six. Number seven, what then shall we say? That the law is sin? By no means, yet if it had not been for the law, I would not have known blank, for I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had not said you shall not covet. I would not have known sin. Verse seven, I would not have known sin. You have to have a law in order to have sin because sin is a transgression of law, okay? Number eight, but sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, produced in me all kinds of covetousness, for apart from the law, sin lies. All right? Dead. Sin lies dead. Now, is Paul, is Paul actually saying that the Old Testament, the law, is really what caused him to sin? No, Paul made the choice, Saul, at that time. We make the choice, but the only reason it is sin is because of the law. You've got to have a law in order to have sin. That's what he just got through saying. Number nine, I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin came blank, and I died. It is alive. Verse number nine. Number ten. The very commandment that promised blank proved to be death to me. Everybody say life. Not salvation. The answer is life. The answer is life. Verse ten. Number eleven. For sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, deceived me and through it blank me. Anybody, anybody, they're saying killed up here. Everybody agree with that? So does Paul. Through it, sin killed me. Number 12. So the law is blank and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. So the law is holy. Verse 12. The law is holy. Flip your sheet over, number 13, verse 13. Did that which is good then bring death to me? By no means. It was sin. Blank death in me through what is good in order that sin might be shown to be sin and through the commandment might become sinful beyond measure. That's, that's a tough one, but... Producing death in me. Producing death in me. Verse 13. Number 14. For we know that the law is spiritual but I am of the flesh, blank, under sin. Somebody over here said, sold. Verse number 14. 
sold under sin. Number 15. For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I blank. Hate. Verse number 15. Number 16. Now if I do what I do not want, I blank with the law. That it is good. All right. Somebody give me a good answer. All right. Agree? Does everybody agree? <laughs> is it not on there? I said it was I said it was uh, midnight when I was doing that. And I really don't know how that happened because I actually copied and pasted. Well, no, it shouldn't be up there. It is agree. All right. If you got that one wrong, mark it wrong. If you got it, if you got it right and you put agree in there, even though it's not on here, you did good. Number whatever that one was, that was 16. Number 17. Number 17. So now it's no longer I who do it, but sin that blank within me. All right? Instead of swells, should be dwells within me. Number 18. For I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is, in my blank, for I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. Dwells in my flesh. Verse 18. Dwells in my flesh. Number 19. For I do not do the good I want, but the blank I do not want is what I keep on doing. Evil, verse 19. Evil. Number 20. Now if I blank what I do not want, it's no, not longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. If I do, if I do. Verse 20. Number uh, 21. So I blank it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. So I find, Romans 7, 21, so I find, find it to be a law. Number 22, number 22, for I blank in the law of God in my inner being. Delight, anybody, anybody got anything different? What does Paul say? Paul says, I delight in the law of God. Number 23. But I see in my blank another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. All right. I hear mind. I heard somebody say members. Paul said members, for I see in my members another law. Twenty-four, blank man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? All right, wretched man that I am, verse 24. Last one. Who all got the last one right? Everybody? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I myself serve the law of blank with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. All right. Anybody say anything other than God? If you did, you missed it. Serve the law of God.
All right, who missed the least? Ke Kelly said he missed, missed four. Kelly said he missed four. And Hudson said he missed four. All right, y'all didn't get the prize tonight. We got some back here that only missed three. Only missed three. All right. Did anybody miss less than three? Anybody miss less than three? Y'all didn't get the prize either. How many did y'all miss? Two or one? Two. Anybody miss less than two? Anybody miss less than two? All right. Looks like you get the prize. Just make up what you want. You won, you won the study anyway. All right. Uh, good job. Whether you, whether you uh, scored 100 on, on your test or not, if you studied, you still won. That's the, that's the key. All right. Next time, uh, we'll still be in the book of Romans. We'll be in chapter number 8. Chapter number 8, I was looking to make sure, has uh, 30, 39. Chapter 8 has 39 verses. I will promise you there will not be 39 questions. So if you can figure out which verses I'm not making questions on, then you, cannot have, you don't have to study them for this test, okay? But otherwise, you probably need to study all, verse, all 39. I'll go ahead and tell you we'll probably go ahead and do 25, 25 out of the 39. All right, questions or comments or anything? Everybody still enjoyed doing the, doing the studies? Good. Chapter number 8 on uh, the 4th. The fourth, there's five Sundays in October. We'll do it on the, like we always do, on the fourth Sunday night. Uh, the, the, it should be on the, the thing, should be on the 30th, I would think. 1 8 15, 23, and 30. So it'll be the 23rd, or 22nd, I guess. Yeah. 1 8 15, 22, and 29. Yeah, there we go. So it'll be the 22nd of October. All right, anything else? If not, Jeff Harbison is going to come and lead us in a prayer, and then we'll dis be dismissed following that. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day, and may bless you giving us. We thank you that we come together today to worship you and hear, sing songs of praise. Father, we thank you for the time we spent in fellowship and learning more about your word. And then we hope that we can uh, continue to do what's right in your work. Right. Father, we pray for all the sick and shut-ins. We pray, Father, that the doctors and nurses are taking care of them and bring them back to the most wanted health. We pray for the ones who lost loved ones. We pray that you would lay your hand on them and give them comfort. Father, as we go through this week, go ahead and guide us until we meet again. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.